Welcome to part 17 of Tatamania. So let's talk about Egyptologist Howard Carter himself. Howard Carter was born on May 9th, 1874 in London, England. If you didn't know, Howard Carter's career in Egyptology did not start in archaeology, but it actually started in painting. His father was an animal portrait painter, which may have inspired his more creative side. He grew up nearby Didlington Hall, the home of the Amherst family, who at the time had a collection of Egyptian antiquities that he took an interest in. In 1891, Lady Amherst connected Carter with Percy Newberry, an Egyptologist working with the Egypt Exploration Fund in Beni Hassan. Carter was only 17, but he was sent with Newberry to paint images of the tomb decorations. At the time when photography was not affordable and widespread, excavations would hire painters to paint copies of the wall images. These have proven to be really useful nowadays as the paint can continue to deteriorate or over time. Carter also worked with Flinders Petrie in Amarna and Edward Neville in Deir al-Bahri. Surprisingly, the jump from archaeological painter to archaeologist was not that hard, but technically Carter had no formal education in the subject. In 1899, he was appointed the Inspector of Monuments of Upper Egypt, meaning Southern Egypt. He oversaw the number of excavations in Thebes, including the Valley of the Kings by Theodore Davies. In 1904, Carter was transferred to the north near the funerary ground of Saqqara, and in 1905, there was an incident called the Saqqara Affair. There was apparently a group of rowdy French tourists who wanted to see the Serapium, which is an underground funerary complex in Saqqara. It's a little bit of a he said, he said predicament, because according to Carter, the French were drunk and refused to buy tickets and forced their way in, and then demanded a refund because they didn't get candles to go around the dark complex. But Carter defended the Egyptian guards and told them to leave, and then apparently a fight broke out. The French actually claimed that they had paid and they only wanted a refund when they didn't have any candles, and then the Carter told the guards to kick them out. Carter still sided with the Egyptian guards, but he refused to apologize to the French authorities and was thus reassigned to Tanta, a town in the desert with practically no ancient monuments in sight. Within a couple months, he actually resigned from the position and moved back to Luxor. He didn't work for almost three years and made his living painting and selling watercolors to tourists. Part two is out now.